Yep, I'll have to admit it. I went to the e-biker bars and I dropped. Well, I'm talking about handlebar bar ends for my e-bike and a dropper seat post. I did all this as a DIY e-bike hack for helping with trailside or roadside repairs on my e-bike. In one of my previous videos, I showed you the toolkit that I carry with me for you know minor issues like flats, uh, chain brake, or something like that. And it's one thing to have all the tools to fix any of the problems you might have on the road, but how to fix them sometimes on an e-bike creates a kind of a big problem. Typically on an e-bike, you have more stuff on the handlebars. Uh, the biggest thing being your monitor, and it's kind of a pain in the butt to take it off to fix something when you have to turn your bike upside down. And on my bike, I have, of course, the monitor, and I have, you know, you have all the the gear shifts and a lot of other stuff. I have camera mounts. Now, I typically don't carry a phone on my handlebar, but you still could, and that's just a pain to have to take off when you turn your bike upside down to work on it. Now, I've lately seen some advertisements for something called a handlebar jack. Actually, it looks pretty handy, but for me, I don't really like carrying that kind of extra stuff with me. I went a little different route. I put some comfortable hand grips on and some bar ends. Now, I prefer the short bar ends on my bike. They work dual purpose for me. They give me plenty of different hand positions so my hands and my wrists and actually my shoulders don't get sore. And when I'm climbing some real steep hills, it gives me a little extra pulling power. So I opted for the what they call two finger grip and you can get some longer bar ends that uh, will give you even more positions and help out when you have to turn your bike upside down now these are the longer bar ends and i find a lot of people like these instead of the short ones so these work exactly the same way uh gives you actually more riding hand grip positions and it elevates your bike farther off the ground when you do an upside down fix it so that way even if you have a phone or anything else that's tall on your handlebars you won't have to remove it you can just change the position of your of your bar ends and voila you're set no more having to take all that stuff off or rotate it or move it or anything and then you don't have to worry about any damage to anything works pretty cool it's real simple you have your bar ends on your riding position all the time they're there you don't have to worry about carrying them or anything and then if you have to turn the bike upside down you simply rotate the bar ends so they're sticking straight up and when you turn the bike upside down it'll clear all the stuff you have on your handlebars now i have to take off my camera but i can leave the mounts and the monitor and all that stuff on there makes it much more convenient so i can do all the work i need a chain fix a, a flat adjustment of derailleur or anything like that without having to take all that stuff or worry about damaging any of that stuff on my handlebars. Now, I also have a dropper seat post, which really helps because I can drop it down when I turn the bike upside down so it doesn't rest on the seat. It rests on my bag on the back and on the handlebar bar ends. So you can see with the dropper seat post down, the seat doesn't even touch the ground. It rests on the bag in the back. And even with my short two-finger bar ends, everything's up out of harm's way when the bike is turned upside down, especially the bike monitor, but including all the shifters and mounts and camera mounts and all that other stuff makes it so much easier if you have to do a trailside or roadside repair. 
And if you didn't want to put them on your bike and you just wanted to carry them, you could just use them like as horns or something and uh, tie them to your helmet so that uh, you look kind of weird. I don't mind looking weird. <laughs>